Hey sis, have you ever wondered why some people are able to get pregnant without even trying? And then some of us have to do stress management techniques, change our diet, take every supplement under the sun, and it still doesn't work. If you are sick and tired of feeling defeated, heartbroken every time anti-flow shows up, then I got you. Today we're going to dive into understanding and defining your cycle story. And when you truly understand all of this, it can make a huge difference in your journey. Let's dive in. The secret to getting pregnant isn't just about timing your baby dancing. It's not about taking all of the supplements under the sun. It's about truly understanding your cycle what it's doing, what it's telling you, and then using that to amplify and boost it so that you can get pregnant fast. It's about understanding and mastering your body's unique rhythm, mastering your ovulation so you can bring your baby home. But everyone's body is unique. Everyone's cycle tells them a different story. And when you truly don't understand what your cycle is telling you, it can leave you on this hamster wheel of trying to conceive for way longer than you need to be. Being on this journey and really just helping and diving into hundreds of women's stories, I have learned that every cycle is unique and has a very unique pattern. And when you understand your pattern and you understand the nuances of what your cycle is telling you, you can get off this roller coaster way faster. I remember when I was on my journey, I had the perfect cycle. It fell within the 28 days. I had clear signs of bleeding. I had clear ovulation signs. Everything looked perfect and ideal on paper. All of my tests came back normal. But month after month after month, I just kept getting negative tests. I now understand that I am a perfect paradox. And I now know what I need to do to bring my baby home but in this moment, and tell me below if you can relate to this. I was devastated. I was heartbroken every single month. I got to the point where I felt defeated and wanted to give up. Everything looks perfect. All of the tests are coming back normal. Why can't I be a mom? Tell me if you can relate to that. It's just so heartbreaking. They diagnosed you with unexplained infertility. What the heck? is unexplained infertility. Just so heartbroken. It wasn't until I took a deep dive into my unique cycle and its unique patterns and trends that I was able to do the right things, take the right supplements to see those two pink lines. But you see, I didn't start with understanding my cycle. And this is what I want to teach you. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we need to start. I just started baby dancing and taking every supplement under the sun and it kept me on this journey way longer than I needed to be and I don't want that for you. So let's dive into understanding our cycle story. When I say cycle story, I'm talking about how your cycle behaves, the pattern of your menstrual cycle. There's four common patterns that most women's menstrual cycle fall into. When you understand your pattern, you can start to heal the hidden nuances, take the right supplements and baby dance at the right time, speeding up your journey to bringing your baby home. So I'm going to dive into the four different types and I want you to type below which one are you. All right, number one, the spotter. The spotter is someone who spots throughout their cycle. They can say things like, is this implementation bleeding? Is this my actual period? Did it start? Did it end? They have no idea what is sort of going on with their cycle because they're bleeding or spotting all the way through. It makes baby dancing very uncomfortable. They never see a true peak. Number two, the wild card. The wild card is someone whose cycle is short one month, long the next. It's kind of all over the place. You're not really sure if you're coming or going. There's no consistent rhyme, reason, or pattern. You can't say that you always ovulate on day 13, day 14. It's up, it's down, it's all over the place. Number three. Number three is what I call the latecomer. The latecomer is someone whose cycle could be 35, 45, 50, 60 days. They go months and months without a period. 
This is someone whose hormones are out of whack and really needs to focus on hormone balances. They can see multiple LH peaks if they are tracking their cycle. They don't know when they're ovulating. They don't know if they're ovulating. They don't know if their bleeding is actually a period or if it's just breakthrough bleeding. This is a super hard cycle to pinpoint ovulation, but I'm gonna tell you something. It's absolutely not impossible. Number four is the perfect paradox, and I was a perfect paradox. A perfect paradox is someone where everything seems normal. You get regular cycles, clear signs of ovulation, a nice bleeding or flow pattern, but you still can't get pregnant. The two pink lines are just escaping you. If you track your LH, you're seeing the rise, you're seeing the peak. If you do BBT, you see the temperature shift. And if you see your cervical mucus when you're checking, but that two pink lines does not exist in your world, then you are a perfect paradox. So drop a note below. Are you a perfect paradox, a latecomer, a spotter, or a wild card? When you understand what your cycle is telling you, you can align your strategies to getting pregnant in order to bring your baby home. Somebody like a spotter needs to come off a bunch of different supplements. Someone like a latecomer, they need to focus on lifestyle, diet, exercise, stress management to heal hormone imbalances and start to get their body ovulating into a regular rhythm. The perfect paradox, this is when we need to take a deep dive. You may use fertility tech like an Anito or an Amira so we can really see what's going on with the hormones in your body so we can heal those inconsistencies to bring your baby home. If you don't take the time to truly understand your cycle, you can be left on this roller coaster way longer than you need to be. You know, there's some women out there that get pregnant so easily. They're not even trying and they get pregnant. But if you're on this channel and you're listening, then we are not one of them. I was not one of them. And what it took was me understanding what my body needed and healing those inconsistencies to see my two pink lines. So how do you move forward on this journey? The best thing to do is to create a fertility journal. Start writing down and documenting, taking notes on what is going on with your body. If you're a perfect paradox, we wanna look at the length of your phases. We wanna understand your LH, your peaks, your hormones, everything that's going on. If you're a latecomer, we wanna start changing up our diet, healing our body from the inside out. All of the pieces start to come together when you truly understand where you're supposed to focus and drive the bus in that direction. And this is exactly what we talk about inside the Heal to Conceive Tribe. Really understanding your cycle and the data that it is giving you so you can bring your baby home. As a perfect paradox, I could never understand why I wasn't getting pregnant why I was doing all the things, taking all the supplements, following all of the trying to conceive advice, and I wasn't getting it two pink lines. I did the IVF, the IUI, medicated cycles. I did acupuncture, naturopath. I couldn't figure it out. But when I started to understand the nuances of my cycle, that's what was a game changer for me. Drop a comment below, let me know your cycle story. Which of the four categories do you fall into? I'm going to be doing a series over the next couple of weeks about how to heal your cycle from the inside out. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to be notified when each episode drops. Baby dust for all.